Hey, it's James from JBS. I want to go over a few things on the new uh, KRX clutch versus the old one and the new Ridge clutch and uh, the Ridge weight. And the first thing I want to show you is the profile here. Um, it's really, really close to ours except for the tip. Um, I know the camera's hard to tell, but it's really, really close to ours. And uh, that was the first thing I was going to go over because that's kind of hard to hold. But on the new KRX primary, the, the sheaves are the same size, pretty close, within a few thou. And then the, uh, the weights are different. They're wider because there's only three. Uh, but the width of the weight here is still the same. Um, they stop, they don't stop on the tip anymore. They stop back here at the, uh, right here at the base. And then, um, but the width here is the same. Our shims fit here. Uh, the bushings are the same in here. And the same for the uh, ridge clutch too. Our shims fit in here. Uh, perfectly and we'll also uh, be making the weights for these um, the inner cover and the secondary that goes with the new uh, KRX clutch is the same as the old one and uh, but the material is different this is like the second gen uh, KRX weights and then the ridge weight is like the um, old 16 and up Terex weight. Same material, same look. So these two, even though they look the same, are running different weights on that. Um, they have a lot bigger buttons uh, where they slide up and down the, the sheave here, but, you know, there's less of them, so we'll have to see how that works out. But I think it should be better just because of how big the buttons are. It has the same roller on all three of them. I already measured them. Bushing's the same. Everything's the same on that. Uh, the new KRX uh, clutch, maybe a pound less. Um, the one thing is the snap rings. The pin only goes in one way on the new KRX uh, clutch, but the the groove where the pin goes spin around here. Um, I don't know if you can see that very good. I got the snap ring in there, but it doesn't. It's like the groove isn't deep enough and. The snap ring really don't snap in there uh, like it should. But uh, I didn't like that. That's one thing that I thought was bad. They need to adjust the depth for that before something happens there. Um, the, the castings, um, you know how everybody's talking about the casting and they always have the, the cracks and the new um, KRX is the same way, has big nasty casting marks uh, because it's the same part, part number as the old one. And then, but on the, on the ridge, it's a different part number. And... Um, you can see the casting is a lot smoother and shinier, more like a Yamaha sheave was back in the day. Uh, I haven't inspected them for a couple of years just to see how their casting is, but um, the ridge definitely looks better as far as casting. Um, there's the secondary to the ridge there in the belt we've done already done some testing on that we're in the process of making a a new cap 
and then uh, we'll all we've already on the ridge been working with some primary springs on it because it doesn't have a wet clutch um, so you have to have primary spring I had to put that in there because the haters would start oh now he's using a primary spring well we've always used primary springs like even in our Terex we run them with and without depending on tire size but uh, ours is about half the uh, spring rate as the factory Terex one and uh, I've also purchased one of the springs that the lighter springs that everybody's talking about and I'm gonna make a video on it with the quality with the spring rate we're we're purchasing a nice uh, spring smasher. I'll be designing springs from the start for what they need after I drive them. And I'm going to take it to another level on all this stuff. But uh, you can see here, there's the new KRX weight. It's tungsten coated like the other ones. And there's that stop on the bottom I was talking about. And then... Uh, Here's a pin out of one of the AA weights, and they're exactly the same profile as factory. There's not one thing that's changed except maybe the heel weight, and they're adjustable, but there wasn't much engineering went into that. Um, then there's the old factory weights. But the uh, now on the original uh, KRX clutch, the total weight was 342 grams stock. Um, on the second gen, it's uh, 318 grams uh, stock. So, you know, 24 uh, below what the original was. And then the... Um, no, hold on, I'm, I was wrong on that. That's, that's the uh, tungsten coated weights, the first weights. These here, the new design are uh, 292 so it's less than the first gen weights the chrome plated and then the second gen that they had with the three holes um, this one here so there's the uh, what the totals are on that and uh, that AA they was exactly the same as the OG uh, on weight also so we got, uh, we're making tooling so everybody can get their clutches apart for the ridge and the uh, new KRX clutches and we'll be releasing a lot of new stuff for them uh, pretty soon. So check us out, JBS Performance. We got the stuff in house and we're making big changes. Here's the two pins, I'll go ahead and show you. The two pins are a little bit different also. Um, as you can see, a little bit different material. And then um, the one with the, they're the same size, but the one with the uh, hole in the end of it, that's the new gen. Um, that one's the new gen KRX, and this is the Ridge. Check us out, JBS Performance.